conference that is focused on diversity and inclusion and gender gap in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And today we are here only two chairs, Karina Gonzalez from the University of La Laguna and University Oberta de Catalonia, and also me, Alicia García Olado from the University of Salamanca. We, we have uh, different presentations today, and uh, we hope that this presentation represents the, the theme, that, that the subject that we are trying to introduce into the team. And also we have uh, a special issues that after the conference, we, we invite you to submit an extended version of your papers, the best papers of these sessions. And we hope that we continue in the future with this uh, special session into the team. And without, without any knowledge uh, more about this special session, uh, this is time with the presentation. You have 10 minutes more or less for the presentations, and after that, 10 minutes. Okay? So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. with the geometry 
uh, figures and properly studies and fields uh, recognized by the judges. We considered the thematic uh, plays a special direction and the time of recovery formula and diverse elements with a notable capacity of memorization on the green student. The teaching of mathematics in the uh, student in the cycle of the secondary education and high school has been developed, developed through the living of diverse content based of the discovery, the elaboration of <coughs> material as well as diverse practical examples using the origami and the flow diagram. The research point, you know, uh, delimit three uh, tips of requirements in the teaching of mathematics in blind students. For example, mathematics, structure, structure, assessment, assessment of the optic system, currently with very really tips, the use of one world language in the expression of knowledge that improves the knowledge activity and the way it is expressing aspect of three-dimensional and two-dimensional representation. Uh, general physiological structure, self-discovery, gradual work from the context to the abstract confirmation of empirical ceiling, and adaptation to the brain. Uh, to the need of the degree of visual disability using systematic visual exploration in side studies of low vision of normal communication on mathematics content. So the active system teaches the staff with ad adequate didactic training that use active results to be able to develop their teaching for the um, Bertrand, Caron, and Pineda the investigation, various uh, joint experience of inclusion education in mathematical for blind students, and systematic with a description and characterization of proceeding in the curricula and the practical training of teaching in mathematics for blind students. We feel the context we work on a spatial and numerical, numerical thinking as well as on a thematic, informatic, and numerical system using a methodology adapted to the processing of systematization of the educational experience. The result of the study saw the teacher as a mediator of the processing of teaching and teaching in mathematical areas. And we think the technology that involves the teaching it is worth mentioning the advance of holophony, which is a sonorous reproduction but comparable to holographic of images, which has the particularity that both generated the extension of 3D generate deep math, different math. In the field of sound, the project of inter interactive virtual environment based on sound for learning and knowledge, uh, as well as those books, standards, it is many different advantages, is the high cost and the beautiful reading to use it. In, for, for example, the voice carrier of a consulting of a detector of nearly object and safe to bring a natural landscape into sound. This is system made possible the applicability of a permanent reality for the brain. Also, noteworthy is the University of Jerusalem project, a new agency by capture the different colors, converting them into sound generated by musical instruments. And uh, of the mathematical teaching methodology for the plan, uh, uh, the bar methodology based, based on the use of historical materials used by the plan for primary school based on a game of inverse education with six tools used by the student when developing, thus using tables for the developing mathematical problems generating graphic representation and translate by some abbreviation. The results were very similar to each other with no notice change, so those were so to be more important when associated with the specific 
detection or place that some alarm. Uh, and the investigation uh, UV uh, on the point of the uh, view of mathematical abounding problem of the teaching of mathematical compliance students focusing on the acquisition of thematic ideas from the attraction to the figurative of imagine, images. The result showed that the tool intent to blind children was not sufficient to transmit all the information and the student three years later adhered the knowledge necessary for un understanding the exercise. And Asia and USA uh, uh, it is necessary to emphasize in the international work uh, between Asia and USA for the institution of instruction in a mathematics and the improvement of the teaching staff to teach these subjects for the blind strategy in the publication of manual mathematics made easy for the children with visual impairment and differentiation of the one hand the, the general method of teaching in mathematics and teaching the blind as well as the method of preparing text material for reading from the children on characteristics and evaluation processing between the mathematics creativity and including the use of abacus. Russian uh, rule how one battle uh, in his work, uh, he analyzed a simple, the different teachers of blind people from Canada and USA through our line of opinion survey about the adequate introduction in the use of the abacus and the skill activity with a following week in for several years. The study results conclude that more than two six in service and addition and subtraction show it would improve and computer computer skills in the abacus from the preschool through second grade. And Bradwell and Wilson distinguishing the use of private abacus tactile graphics, complete material, the university preparation reflects in the Russian Blue and Resty investigation. They start in the other school institution in the previous variables in the university, uh, USA and Canada. And the, in the world uh, in the world international Singapore Met method. Uh, uh, focusing on developing problem solving skills that the uh, various students with value in life, problem solving skills, preparing teachers themselves to collaborate with the students in understanding, the designing, and developing the uh, problems on each uh, rotary to refer to a starting point, achieving the development of highly valued competitive. Competitive such as innovation, the desire to experience with alternative solutions, and the ability to meet as uncertainty. However, this method does not currently include limited students in its education methodology, which we, uh, which we believe it is necessary if we want an education accessibility to accessibility to all audiences. In, Discussion uh, from the research of the in the theoretical review, the need to distinguish uh, between subjects with low vision and those with local weakness is this uh, discernment with the great majority are not identified as such but are included in the ecology of white people. Within the limitations of the research, we think that the best model of Singapore international technology as the best model and teaching of teaching in mathematics has never contemplated contemplated since it is configuration to need to adapt its methodology to all types of experience and time that we believe essential and that we think the future improving on this plane will be hard to be solved. As is the need to distinguish between subjects with low vision and those with total business. Uh, Singapore model, uh, based mathematics teaching model, has never uh, seen a student with visual environment. Uh, another uh, uh, limitation in all students did not reach it or, or study in Stanford volumen, how dispersion, geographical location, or lack inclusive quality, and uncultured and, 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 and teaching for now. Uh, to take subjects. 
and completion open school uh, curriculum incorporates to new methodologies and necessary university for fostering creative and emotional intelligence, use of play knowledge in a student for this uh, mathematical function. Teacher is work uh, and didactic with innovative technology to cover interaction with the environment and in blind students and for school graphic generative technology, it is necessary to generate your own material, science, play, an important role. It is a appropriate business being essential. And thank you very much for your uh, attention. that these variables 
between the other is related to decision making in the STEM career start. We believe that the unplugged teaching activities can help women and girls to learn computer programming and is also a good way to educate on gender equity and break the system. Okay then, what are unplugged activities? They are teaching and learning activities of computer programming without electronic devices. Computer, tablets, mobile, anyway. Advantage of unplugged activities. Access to learning computer, to computer programming for all people and of any age, but very important access to for all people and of any age. The context in study can flavor the female collective, it's very important. Promotes activity, activities that integrate different groups, adult women and other women. We develop computational thinking skills, very useful for when there is no access to com com computer, and it helps to reduce the gender gaps. Okay, the implementation was developed with two, two different groups. The students and families were volunteers, and all minors had a permission signed by the part. In the group A, a correspond to children of a public primary school in Madrid, Spain, and to follow 54 students. The group had a great multicultural diversity in the classroom because they were children of different nationalities, Russia, Spain, Venezuela, Bangladesh, Morocco. Uh, it's, a, it's very nice, but it's very important especially when observing an active form of gender dynamics. The group B are families from different contexts or districts in Fleur Saturday. The Fleur Saturday is world space opened by the Media Lab Prado, which is a cultural center in Madrid. It's necessary to say uh, each session of the group B that different people the implementation has six activities, but we mention only two, which we consider relevant because they were important to advance in the learning of gender dynamics for equity in computational thinking skills and understanding the basic concepts of computer programming. The general objectives are to introduce and motivate from an early age in computer programs and to develop gender dyna dynamics that educate about gender equity and to promote women empowerment in the STEM area. This activity is the avatar, uh, consists of creating an avatar and building of its algorithm. The students define gender, name, eyes uh, of different colors and expressions, mouse of different expressions, and a superpower. The mass group, uh, the group must have children of both gender to observe gender dynamics. I recommend uh, a maximum three people. This is the equation of the avatar algorithm and the base of the avatar is taken from this link. It's very funny from children's and adult disability. The activity is the carpet. Uh, in this activity, the students build a code to move from one point to another. The students generate their own conditional uh, with at least one loop. Um, the, uh, okay, this, uh, this is an example of a conditional created by the children of group A. This activity is an adaptation of automatic monitoring. Our observation is uh, informal. Each of, half of uh, these elements have been detected as causes of gender gaps in STEM. 
Several investigations indicate that it's important to work on this element, especially in socialization process, which is a great advantage because socialization is very easy in West world and special teaching. Consequently, the value of these activities is in the socialization process to educate in gender equity. Then in socialization, it do we motivate the students and family and generate the interest of women by building a positive self-perception. It's very important. In the other hand, to demonstrate in the classroom that women are an active part to the STEM world and that they currently have more examples of female uh, roles uh, follow. The activities were implemented by Atisha with academic and professional experience in a STEM area and an electronic engineer student for women. Okay. This is very important because some studies have shown that stereotype types of gender roles are developed from a very young age. It's also necessary. Sorry. It's also necessary to break gender stereotypes such as boy or bedtime math and science that girls or um, science and engineer are male careers. Okay. Other research indicates that gender stereotypes are uh, acquired from an early age but are evident only to six times. Uh, both groups advance in the object, objective compass, the uh, concepts, the decomposition of problems, concepts of algorithms, looks and conditional. Uh, all students and families learn to be caused very easy. Despite multiculturalism, in class, progress was, ma was made in gender equity education. We mean participate more and more motivate in building codes uh, the interesting in learning and the experience. The female role of the teacher in motivate was positive. After the experience uh, we can see that it's necessary continue creating proposals that motivate and involve the female community in computer programming up all education learning. It's important to propose kinesthetic activities for teaching and learning of computer programming at all education levels. It's very, very important and necessary to build teacher training programs to integrate women at uh, age uh, in the STEM art. It's necessary to continue working to break gender stereotypes Include personal effectiveness and develop a sense of belonging in the STEM area. And female influencers, teachers, mothers, systems are relevant to integrate all women into STEM from any phase. The decomposition of a problem requires a lot of reinforcement, both uh, of children and adults. The implementation groups are very small samples to relevant to generate uh, statistical data. And the implementation of data collection instrument was not possible because uh, the group B families changed its session. This is our group in graphic. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>
Señora. Ah, no, uh, sí, Indomedia Lab. Uh, all the activities from Indomedia Lab. In, uh, incluso los chicos de primaria también. Gracias. Yeah, so I, I fully agree that there is a, 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 the need of, of breaking these barriers uh, for STEM. Uh, but then my, when you were presenting this, I was thinking of, is it really a, a problem in like uh, first grade of primary school in their gender issue? Uh, did you are saying yes? You're saying yes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I remember correctly there was uh, something that said that it was in the, from, from 15, 14, 15 on is when the maths are divided. But anyway, okay. Then, is then yes, then fine. Then the following question is that you said that there is a multicultural, multicultural diversity inside in the class. Did you also check whether the, this, because this also creates barriers, did you also check whether these barriers were, were lower than after this intervention? Uh, this is one barrier. Yes, I'm going to have Well, I can, I can also make the question. También puedo hacer la pregunta en castellano. Ah, vale. Que, a ver, la cuestión es que si hay muchas, mucha, una diversidad cultural dentro del aula, aparte de una diversidad de género, entonces a lo mejor también se, se han deconstruido esas barreras de diversidad cultural. Mira, mi experiencia. Yo pensé que iba a ser terrible, pero al final. Al principio, en la, como, como en la implementación, son seis actividades. Realmente estas son más o menos en la mitad. Y en, en, la, en las primeras socializaciones de cada actividad, sí que yo veía y notaba muchísimo más. Como esas a, a, dinámicas de género, en donde se nota mucho que los roles de los niños, pues que son tan pequeños, son mucho más marcados y como mucho más dominantes que el de las chicas. Entonces, cada vez que se hacía la socialización, se iba diciendo, mira, ¿y tu compañera qué opina? Y no sé, o sea, intervenciones inmediatas, y la verdad, no porque sea mi implementación, pero sí que lo pude notar, incluso lo pude notar cuando lo usaban con las mismas madres. Que es que pareciera ser que la intervención con los peques es mucho más relevante o puede ser más inmediata que los otros. Pero entonces sí que se da esa situación de que, de que las barreras de, de multiculturalidad, o sea que igual que se dice de la niña, digamos a, a, la, a la persona de este eh, latinoamericano, de que había niños de Europa del Este, de árabes, ¿no? Sí. Entonces todos estos niños también interactuaban. La respuesta es sí, parece que no. Y tú dices, mmm, fue un poco, y eso para mí fue un poco violento, pero además fue súper enriquecedor porque, claro, cuando tienes niños de, de tan distintos lugares, cuando tienes niños de distintas culturas, pues entonces te quedas como, ¿y ahora qué hago yo? ¿Vale? Pero sí que se nota muchísimo lo, el trato entre. Esa dinámica masculina y femenina, sobre todo en lo académico, sobre todo cuando hay que resaltar el trabajo de, de hacer un código, por ejemplo. En esa, en esa actividad del, del tapete o carne, cuando pasaba de un punto a otro era increíble porque los chicos, y desde mi experiencia como maestra en física, lo, incluso a finales de carrera, la manera de hacer los algoritmos parece que tiene un camino masculino y femenino. Entonces, cuando los van construyendo, parece ser que, que los chicos sí que lo van haciendo de una manera y otra, pero al final de cada intervención y cada socialización aprendían a hacer trabajo en equipo. Entonces, esa, ese nivel de complejidad de la construcción de los algoritmos sí iba siendo más enriquecedor. Era como si, tal vez suene muy atrevido decirlo, pero era como si pudieras tú como maestro percibir que sí que cuando hay un anclaje entre esas dos formas o naturalezas de construir, es como más enriquecedor y, y más complejo el nivel al que se alcanza en la construcción de los países. Ah, el último comentario es que ya está relacionado también con la implementación a nivel nacional en Estonia de, la, de, de utilizar robots para enseñar matemáticas en el primario. Y, eh, entonces yo estaba en el grupo que lo hizo, sí, 
que es lo que está claramente relacionado si quieres eh, ponerte contacto con esta gente. Muchísimas gracias, me encanta. Sí, sí. Antes de que empezara la charla, ¿cuántos años tienes? Yo tengo 
in our six different countries, seven because here there is also uh, European Union as a general uh, idea of the target, uh, but also in the technology sector. So, um, and, and you see that the number of girls that really enter the high technology sector are very low. So thanks to the heritage from previous project, and what I mean by previous project mainly are another European plus project that was called Attract and the Saga project about UNESCO. Um, we learned that female students are typically well informed about the engineering role and career, um, but they struggle to visualize themselves in a STEM role. Mainly because they have lack of role model, that's for sure is a possibility, uh, but also because of the imposter syndrome, of the doubts about personal capabilities as well. And then there is social inclusion in a male dominant environment, and for sure that's another point to take into consideration. So, uh, our main research question inside the project was is there a difference in self-perception between male and female? And how do our current students and alumni perceive this STEM university environment? Is it gender-free or not? Uh, what's the influence that they get? And based on those results, how can we get a closer view for high school students to get involved? in this new perception of universe. So in order to answer to the question, uh, we had in mind to develop the ANA tool or ANA project. Um, this picture is more the brainstorming picture. So with all the different partner uh, and different country partner, having in mind of what should be inside of the tool. At the end, what we decide are just the darker ones. So the main idea of the tool was just to get support. So not any tasting, not any selection, just a support activity. The content was just apprehension and response to stereotype. We then decide to have a little bit of thinking side and personality side, but without any psychological uh, correlation because that's very hard and very complicated at that age and speaking about what's your perception 10 years ago so and then at the end with this those information we are able to match alumni and current students with high school students but also to let them play and filter and see how people uh, are thinking and doing uh, with special uh, specific um, properties. So uh, we start with a survey for our alumni and current students. Um, we did the survey in all the six universities that were partnered in the project. At the end, we had 14,000 respondents, half male and half female, with. 1% uh, of undeclared, so that means that our database were very uh, equalized. And what we asked was some basic details, the self-perception at the time they entered at the university, uh, the influence of friends, the support of parents, the gender balance, but also the ends of the experience. And then a little bit of a said before of thinking and personalities. Now I want to show you the introduction. Hello, I'm Anna. Welcome to my space. Feel free to explore it. I made it up to help you to get in touch with the possibilities for your future. Compare them to yourself. Do you have things in common? Can you identify with some of them? I have tools to help you filter matches that could be a close match. By the way, the people in the database are all engineers and students in related topics from all over in Europe. Do they fit your expectation about engineering? Have you thought that engineering is about working on so different topics? Maybe you just 
discover that studying this field is your way to the future too. You can explore freely and always start over or change parameters. So it's up to you if you would like to be experimented or to try to shape the results by doing the questionnaires first. Don't hesitate, start now. Of our engineering as 
well because all of our are at engineering cost. Uh, so we are now thinking or on the next step. Um, one is to look at some profiling tool in another European project in South America, uh, in which we can manage also to have a, a more interaction with participants as well. Um, and also in future having a more deeper understanding also of other science uh, aspects and not just engineering aspects. So thank you for the attention.
uh, tend to spend more time in networks than emails, uh, I would say so, information, or, uh, for example, word processor, digital presentation, and image editation. Information and communication technology perceives action with a high gender component. Um, this is a connect with other realities, other problems, uh, like gender gap in the STEM education um, and in the reproduction of the gender stereotype culture. Another study, probably uh, out of recently, uh, is in Barcelona, and the results um, that, uh, that conclude from the appointment we said with the internet consumption by young people is stereotyped by the uh, condition of gender. Girls tend to consume mostly dramatic products, and their focus is on interpersonal relationships. But why? Boys tend to resolve produce based on almost a video games. The games available through the network and resource is a focus. Uh, boys uh, center your attention, uh, their attention in online games, but girls in the networks and in relation to friends. And the question is why? Our study. Uh, the initiative on the study um, presented in this paper was worked from the project wire. This project is a key for this study because the project uh, gives a young people a voice in platform uh, to answer uh, issues, uh, social issues in relation with the digital society. The question that, uh, that we, we used uh, was sent to uh, 58 participants. These participants were part of the second group of the graduate degree of the University of Salamanca, obviously. Um, uh, the, the students working on the platform of WIRE. The group, uh, the group was composed of uh, 55 women and three men, the same called is more uh, to women of different nationalities, Spanish, Belgian, and Bulgarian. And all of them were born between 1991 and 1999. And for this study, uh, we researched instruments um, possible. And uh, the instrument more important in this line of research was the media and the disposal. Uh, the aim of the research was to reveal stereotypes and set stereotypes concerned women and men in relation to the use of uh, the internet by people of both sex. Uh, the instrument of meeting and discussion initially had uh, 45 items, but finally had 40 items in eight sections. <laughs> Uh, the object of our study uh, was the gender stereotype view on the use of the internet and our objective was to detect the use in our students. Previously at the application of the instrument, uh, we have, uh, applied a dynamic dynamic throughout the wider project. Uh, throughout the international conversations in a platform. Uh, our results. Uh, we use SPSS and we did two groups of uh, students. Uh, students with 20 years or less and students with more than uh, 20 years. Uh, we calculate the descriptive uh, statistic and the standard deviation. We use a uh, no parametric test for motor fenomenon, severe bullying, and the results of this test was uh, uh, the p value was uh, less, 0.05, and 
we use the test they put in our window. The p-value uh, was uh, more than 0 0.05, and we accepted our uh, new hypothesis. Uh, our new hypothesis, uh, hypothesis was not dependent, dependent between variables. Uh, our limitation um, was the same for they, um, they had more women than boys, and in the future we want uh, to repeat this study with symbols more big, with more boys and more girls equitative. And we think that is a need, a social need, um, research in this line for um, carry out uh, a equitative use of the internet and the uh, broken the, the gender gap in this area in the other countries. Uh, consumo chico chica eh, de contenidos de internet eh, coincide lo chequearon eh, o, o, o se proponen un estudio de ese tipo de consumo cultural de chico chica offline eh, en nuestro estudio lo que sobre todo obtuvimos fueron resultados en relación a la edad lo que nosotros okay. vimos es que aquellas personas que tienen 20 años o menos de 20 años hacen el uso sobre todo para escuchar música mientras mm. que las personas que tienen más de 20 años, hacen el uso para comprar en internet y el uso que menos dan es para consultar eh, páginas religiosas. ¿vale? Eso es lo que pudimos obtener en cuanto a edad. En cuanto a género, nos fue más difícil porque teníamos 55 mujeres y 3 hombres. Vale. Este sesgo no es un sesgo producido por nosotras, no, sino claro. dado por la propia asignatura. Estamos en un área de pedagogía y entonces hay una brecha de género clarísima. Por eso nuestra... Nuestra propuesta para el futuro es repetir este mismo estudio, pero claro, con una muestra más significativa para ambos, ambos géneros, considerando entonces ya no solamente la edad, sino también la diferenciación de género. Porque claro, todos, hay pocos estudios actualmente, ¿no? pero los estudios que hemos encontrado, principalmente Galicia y Barcelona, sí que nos dicen que hay una clara diferenciación por género. ¿vale? Entonces, si nos damos cuenta, los hombres tienden más hacia el campo tecnológico-científico y las mujeres más hacia el lado social. No es una réplica de lo que pasa. Claro, habría que... La pregunta es si esto es una réplica de, de la vida desconectada. Sí, yo creo que al final las personas sí, tienen claro. como dos dimensiones, dos esferas, ¿no? La virtual y la presencial, y al final una es un reflejo de la otra, ¿no? Que en realidad la virtual también es real, solo que sí. también la tecnología. Entonces, eso. Gracias. Okay. So, how, how do you... Um, ask people to do this because I mean like like you should install something in your device in your phone in your computer or something to make it track. A ver, cuando les has pedido que les ibas a rastrear. No, 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 no. Nosotros utilizamos un instrumento, ¿vale? Que fue el de Mitini y Bolsonaro. Este instrumento ellos estuvieron en todo momento informados de para qué era, ¿vale? Claro. Antes hicimos la aplicación de Wider. De la, de la Conversación Internacional del Proyecto Europeo. Y nosotros no le obligamos en ningún momento a que lo Nosotros les decimos que pueden hacerlo de manera libre y que nunca vamos a llegar a obtener los datos de quién nos está respondiendo, sino que tenemos una protección de esos datos, de tal forma que puedan responder de forma libre. Y sobre todo, no les dijimos responder aquí en clase, sino que les dimos un mes para que ustedes responder cuando ellos consideraran reflexionando sus respuestas y sin que interferieran. Lo que quiero decir es que al final el, el, la, la, o sea, las páginas que visiten todo esto es algo como muy íntimo. O sea, o sea, la historia de las búsquedas que haces es algo Pero como nosotros, si no, el... nosotros no tenemos alcance a la que visita, sino que ellos nos responden qué es lo que visita. Nos claro. dicen, yo fui bueno, para. Te responden lo que ellos creen que es, en el mejor de los casos. Eso es, no, no, es que, es que esto es una cosa muy normal cuando haces estudios de cosas íntimas. Por ejemplo, es un, un caso muy claro con el tema del de, de comportamiento sexual. Es un, es, o sea, al final, ni nadie somos objetivos, ni siquiera con nosotros mismos. Bueno, pues eh, claro, como para hacerlo con otros. ¿no? 
Claro, Entonces, porque, ahí... Al final lo que nosotros conseguimos conocer es, por el ancho editorial, la percepción de oponer. Es decir, ¿qué percepción tienes tú mismo sobre tu eh, uso? Por eso, en instrumentos que aportamos, ah, habla de estereotipo y autoestereotipo. O sea, vale. la percepción y la autopercepción. Es decir, al final, ¿para qué pienso yo que estoy utilizando internet? Esa es la idea. Obviamente ya contamos con la posibilidad de que nos están respondiendo una cosa que no responda a lo que finalmente sí hace. Pero al final nuestro objetivo es saber cómo piensan. O sea, queremos llegar a su percepción, a lo que hay dentro de su pensamiento. Ese es nuestro objetivo. Okay. Association of 
Latin American universities. And also we work uh, with UNESCO, with the support of UNESCO, uh, mainly through the project SAP. So also there are other secondary schools involved in Latin America, but the main uh, external partners are these two partners. So the main objective of the project is to try to improve the mechanisms of attraction, access, and guidance in the higher education institutions in Latin America. And this is not only a project focused to carry out some activities or proposals during the three years. The main objective is to guarantee uh, that this the results of the project will be applied in a real way after the end of the project in the higher education institutions in Latin America, not only in the partner institutions. So the target audience of the project are, of course, higher education institutions, STEM programs, secondary schools, and girl and young women. Sorry. So, too fast. No, no, I, I don't know why, but. Okay. Okay, so uh, to achieve this goal, we define four main actions. The first one is focus on self assessment. So, we are carrying out uh, self-assessment of the different higher education institutions involved in the project. And this assessment uh, will provide a photograph, a picture of the state of the institutions related to uh, gender in the different areas related to uh, STEM. Also, we will uh, try to define some policies and strategies and mechanisms to improve the process of attraction, access, and guidance in the university focus on undergraduate level, not master or doctoral degree, mm -hmm. only undergraduate levels. Also, uh, we will uh, carry out different actions to promote um, that girls in secondary school study or select or have the uh, opportunity to decide if they prefer to study a scientific career or technological or engineer career or another uh, social, sci uh, social science, humanities, but give them the option. And the fourth action is focused on provide, as in, as in the name of the project, <coughs> uh, uh, learn a training, training package to co ed all the, info, all the information and to give to other institutions to apply these uh, measures in their own context. So, this, this is not important. So, now we are covering, uh, we have some results at the beginning of the project. We have the self assessment uh, tool defining. The tool is based on the Saga Toolkit and we change some indicators and we focus only in the part related to the institution, not the part related to the political and external factors. This is an example, a part of the instrument that we use to collect the indicators. It's an Excel file with different uh, fields because we need to share the, the file with different services inside the university because there are no one service that have all the information. And also during this year, uh, we are working on some tasks that are has a technological part. We are developing a mobile app, and also we are trying to uh, adapt and reuse the work explained by Maria Giulia in the other project, the profiling tool. So the work of that project will be continue in this project in order to uh, use in the uh, different promotion activities uh, inside the secondary schools. And regarding the mobile app that is developed, is developed by, the, by the Real Research Group, 
There will be a app for AI and iOS because we use this framework, Flutter. We don't have money to develop the app, mm -hmm. so we need to try to find solutions that provide a um, useful and uh, complete app. Okay, I will show you the screenshots. And this is uh, the real screenshots from, for the, from the app. The content is not real because we need to start the process to collect role models uh, from different uh, countries, in different languages, and from different profiles, not only role models as a headmasters or directors or something like that, no, role models from different profiles, so students, teachers, a professional with different ages. And we will search in the mobile app to use the app in the attraction campaigns in the secondary schools. And uh, finally, we also carried out uh, some interviews with role models. These interviews start in the, in the ceremony of the L'Oreal UNESCO Women in Science uh, Awards. And we have four, four interviews with these uh, four women in science that will be uh, shared in the social media in the following uh, months. And this is our social media channels, and we are starting, so you can follow us. And thank you very much to the European Union, and thank you very much. Es un problema de eh, la, 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 la falta de estudiantes en estos temas en STEAM es un problema que trasciende el género en Argentina. Pero además estas universidades fueron creadas en zonas donde no había ningún tipo de cobertura de educación superior. Entonces la idea fue llevar a aquellas personas que pensaron que nunca irían a la universidad Además, con una propuesta de ingeniería. Y se trabaja con los programas de género y con programas de, de la universidad. Entra en la escuela secundaria los dos últimos años de la escuela secundaria para promover esos estudios. Muchas gracias. Una pregunta Yes, uh, uh, es, 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 una, es una encuesta, es un cuestionario. 
con indicadores que se tiene que rellenar cada universidad que hay que rellenarlo. La idea es tener una fotografía de cómo están los números en el año previo al comienzo del proyecto, porque 2019 era imposible, porque no había empezado. Entonces es una fotografía. And we combine the, the, the indicators with a mapping right, about the uh, processes of attract, attraction, access and guidance in each institution. So we will have a photography of how the university works related to uh, these issues. And with this, we can start to uh, give proposals adapted to the different uh, countries involved. Because also we are talking about Latin America, we are talking about, about different, really different contexts. So this is the, the aim of the survey. Because if we start to read different reports, 
uh, especially uh, one from the World Economic Forum. In the forthcoming future, we will start to talk about. Um, I hope you hear me. And we we'll start to to talk about um, the industrial revolution uh, for uh, the fourth industrial revolution. And also, we we'll start to talk about the technology and the different uh, areas of electrical engineering will be in all the fields. So we need to uh, be representing, and all the society need to be represented in all these areas, because in the future it will be necessary. But uh, also, women represent women, or gender uh, related to women, are uh, represented 50% of the society, uh, they are they are represented in the different engineering, technology, and mathematics, scientific areas. And these areas play an important role in the future. So, at this moment, there are a lot of female talent that is, uh, I, um, is underutilized uh, as business resources. So we are, um, we need to, to try uh, to involve these resources, people, in the, uh, in the all activity related to engineering. And although uh, we check the numbers in the universities, of course there are a lot of women studying in the university, more or less 50% of women and men in the universities, but if we check in the areas, there are very different numbers. And also there are very different numbers when you talk about the STEM in the university. You cannot compare um, uh, health uh, areas with uh, in mechanical engineer or electronic engineer, for example. So you need to uh, manage the different engineering skills uh, for separate. So, uh, also there are a lot of uh, initiatives inside the uh, different institutions and different um, organizations focus on this, focus on try to reduce this gender gap. So there are at the European level, there is a European platform of women scientists, but also there are different associations at national level, such as uh, the Association of uh, uh, Researchers and Technology uh, called Women. Also there are projects promoted by uh, UNESCO, for example, the for Women in Science, that is also with the support of the L'Oreal uh, Foundation. And also there are projects that are promoted by uh, companies such as uh, Woman Tech Maker that is promoted by Google or the project that is an initiative for uh, different uh, groups that are girls who call. And there are a lot of initiatives focused on this. So in our project we focus on, uh, uh, we detect that there are different factors that influence to the uh, gender gap, and in particular, influence to the stereotypes around <coughs> women and men in the world. So there are sociocultural aspects, misconceptions about engineering, or learning experience across the different educational levels. But also, there are some studies that highlight that the social support from their own context influence in these stereotypes related. Engineer. So, our project is focused on analyze the perception, and this word is very important because it's not something like a um, total uh, overview about this, but it's the perception, the auto perception, perception of uh, people study engineering about the support received during their life before start the undergraduate uh, studies related to engineer, during the undergraduate studies, and also when they join to the labor market. So we use an instrument, a survey, that was developed in uh, Brazil. The first version of the instrument uh, was developed in Rio de Janeiro by Carvalho Fernandes et al. And 
this instrument is not validated, but they test the instrument in two applications in, in Brazil. And also, uh, we carry out a short expert review when we translate this instrument from Portuguese to Spanish. And during this process, we adapt different parts of the instrument. Because in Brazil, uh, you can ask uh, about uh, race, color, skin in the demographic questions. But in Spain, it's not usual ask about the color scheme. So we change this question by question related to migration background. Also, we include another uh, question related to the field of engineering, the engineer speciality, because we want to study if there are differences between engineers, engineering. <laughs> So, um, the instrument is composed by three dimensions. The first one is focused uh, on the support received before starting the graduate uh, course by family, friends, schoolmates, teachers, and schools. The second one is focused on uh, the support received during that, the graduate course by family, friends, college, the professors and institution. And the third one is the support received from the professional context when you join the labor market by your boss, work mates, and company. And these two dimensions can be in parallel. So, uh, regarding the data collection, we apply the instrument in the University of La Laguna in uh, the engineering school and also in the University of Salamanca in the different engineering schools. But also, we send the instrument through the uh, IEEE Education Society, a Spanish chapter, to all students, engineering students in Spain. And we collect 141 engineer uh, answers, but we carry out analysis in 130 responses because 11 uh, were uncompleted. They didn't provide the engineering field, so we cannot carry out the, the, the comparison. So, okay, okay. Regarding the sample, uh, at the beginning we have answers from nine engineering areas. But some of them with one, three answers, so you cannot compare with these numbers. So we decide to uh, cluster the different answers and uh, cluster by engineering branches. So we carry out the study with uh, people engineering, electronic engineering, computer science, engineer, mechanical, and chemical. Regarding the students, uh, we ask some demographic questions. And uh, regarding these questions, we ask about when they decide to study engineer, because this is important for the support before a start on the graduate course. And you can see in orange the male answers, and in blue the female answers. And non-binary or gender queer, gender queer answers in green, only one uh, answer. So uh, most, of the, most of the students take the decision during the high school and some of them during the middle school. But most of the uh, male during the high school uh, and also the female. Only after the school, after this, after the high school, are people that carry out technical studies, or they go into the labor market and after that they decide to study a career or they are study another career and decide to uh, come to an engineering career. And regarding the results, we carry out a descriptive analysis. We cannot check now the numbers, but the most important part 
is the in the question related to the support received from the institution when they are carrying out the undergraduate course, their the perception is uh, not so much uh, good because the numbers are lower than the other support received. On the other hand, when they talk about the, the support received from their family during the undergraduate course, is the most uh, uh, highest, the highest value in the, in the perception of the, of the students in most of the engineer degrees. Okay, so you can check that all of them has the, the, the highest value. In this case, it's high, but it's not the highest one. And related to the support from, from the institution, uh, there are a difference between computer engineering and electronics. But you cannot say that there's an important difference if you don't carry out a real a statistical test. So we carry out different uh, statistical tests in order to check if the difference between the scores are significant. And we compare um, we compare the different engineering results, and the result is that there are no statistical differences in all data of the survey. Inside the paper, there are details, tables with the data and the test use. We use crystal wallis as a non-parametric uh, test. But also, uh, after compare, uh, compare between engineering, we decide to compare between engineer and general. We will fast. And when we compare, to carry out the different statistical tests, we detect that uh, the only difference be between male and female in each uh, engineering is in computer science engineering. Maybe because we have more answers. And the main differences are related to the support before a start of the graduate course. And before a start of the graduate course by the um, classmates, a school, and let me check because I don't remember, and teachers. So they get good support by family and friends, but in the educational context, they don't receive enough support. And also by the institution when they carry out the undergraduate course. So our main conclusions are that the support perception of the engineering students not depends on the engineering branch, at least with our data. We cannot generalize. The analysis saw that there are no differences between gender in female engineer, electronic, mechanical, and chemical engineering, but there are significant differences in computer science relating to the support received during the uh, previous period before studying the undergraduate course and during the undergraduate course by the institution. So that's all. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's all, some references, thank you very much. Questions? Yes. 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 from one to five. Yes. 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 Simple questionnaire, but it's clear about to get the perception. Mm -hmm. uh, question? It's, it's our work that uh, <laughs> 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 maybe I don't have to ask you, ask you about that. Uh, some reflection, if you have some reflection about uh, why women has less support than men during their studies, undergraduate studies. By the institution. Yeah, by the institution. Yes, I, I don't know if there is only a perception, because it could be, or if there are something related to uh, the scholar, scholarship, or I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because 
we need to continue this study, and we need to ask about the contest, because it's very important to know the contest. But if you carry out this study in the whole country, it's very difficult to know the contest. It's pretty interesting that for computer science, it's totally different from the other uh, engineering. But if you think about the stereotypes, you think, oh, maybe mechanical engineer is, uh, there are more male and there is more difficult than that. No. But the respondents were also coming for the majority from the Yes, yes, yes. 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 This, is, this is a limitation of your studies. Yes, maybe it's another. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. 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 The other ones that are Small. that are smaller, maybe the results yes. will be difficult to yes to, to generalize. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we will continue trying to to do this to get data in order to improve our research. Mm -hmm. Uh, I used to study the, um, the possibility of, of expanding this project, this analysis to further um, uh, how to say, um, scholarship, I mean, uh, not scholarship, but to, to get further education, like uh, PhD students, etc. How does this translate into more women, or do most of the women who say computer science engineering take PhD studies. That's is, is it there some kind of relationship? Do they have more support on the on the radar studies or it is possible, yes, it is possible to adapt the instrument in order to get this perception. But it's more difficult because there are so many factors that influence to study a doctor of PhD, so many more than factors that influence your study and undergraduate uh, degree. Because when you start, depends on the context, but uh, it's not so expensive to study an uh, undergraduate course. But when you start to have 30 years and you start to study a doctoral PhD, you need money to pay your home and your things. So it's another factor to combine. So there are more and more, more factors, not only the gender gap. Yes, and the other thing is just for us, something. In the case of Brazil, for example, they, they are concerned about the racial uh, aspect. And we think that here, maybe we can continue the study about this aspect, but it's too difficult to find and to ask about them in our cultural context. Because it's, it's not normal to ask about that. No, no, about that. And you just say normal, normal and, and it's not the, if what? you read something, yes. Yeah. Your race is yeah. it's not, it's well not good. Good. Because in the Brazilian instrument, color, it's not color skin, it's race. Race, color, oh, skin, yes. white, black, a lot of options. Indigenous, uh, I don't remember all the options, but I think are five or six different options. And we try to analyze this from a migrant point of view, but it's pretty difficult because in our results there are so uh, low number of uh, migrant students with migrant background because we ask, we ask um, country of the parents, Mm -hmm. uh, because can be migrant one level, uh, something like that, one, two, three level, and also the country from there, and, but we didn't have enough resources to carry out a comparison.
casi que fundamental para seguir estudiando el doctorado. Eso está cambiando claramente en Latinoamérica. Además, sí. país por país. O sea, ahora mismo, de repente, de repente, cuando lo empiezan a exigir, empiezan a aparecer doctorandos por todas partes y gente que, que vende el doctorado. Ha ah, sí, claro. pasado hace unos años en Chile, ahora está pasando en Colombia. Exacto. No, y que no, te, te van homologando puntos, por ejemplo, por, una, por ser director de una investigación internacional de Maestría. Entonces, eh, al ir homologando públicos, en, en, a, a nivel nacional o, o digamos de comunidad mmm, casi que la gente dice, vergonzoso pero casi que la gente dice pues mira no yo no hago doctorado y más bien cumplo los puntos con estas condiciones pero, pero además porque es mucho más caro ¿vale? o sea en la matrícula se cuadriplica o quintuplica en América Latina y el nivel el económico de algunos maestros en algunos países por ejemplo en Argentina los maestros tienen unos sueldos que son vergonzosos para ser docentes universitarios. Entonces, esa, es, esas razones van sumando para que la gente no opte por hacer un doctorado. Pero, por ejemplo, ahora en Latinoamérica, you cannot generalize, but, but for example, en Ecuador, from the last five or six years, they start to promote the government, mm -hmm. start to request their yeah. doctoral as a requirement. I, I fully agree. So then this is this problem, which I agree that this is a problem, but it is a problem that will, will disappear soon. Because as, mm -hmm. as the countries are starting promoting this, 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 this and then... It's the, official. Yeah. Then uh, people have to do it. And that's it. So. And for a more Answer in the first year, second year, or third year of the bachelor of undergraduates, or they were all from the same uh, time of. The problem with that question was that it was open, so they, they, they didn't answer well, all of them, so it was very difficult to compare. So we can compare by ages, because more or less are, but very difficult to compare between levels because more, most of them are in the beginning and they are so low at the end of the degree. But it, the, the cause of this could be that there are less students in the last courses than in the first courses too. It's, uh, uh, we need to continue. Yes, we need to continue collecting the data to compare yeah. in order to compare um, try to develop uh, another study extending this. Now the question was because uh, in our analysis that uh, yeah. it was actually uh, similar. Um, speaking about current students, the ones that were um, late, so after the third year but without the degree, that means that you are over the time that you should be finished, um, they have a completely different perception. So the perception change also, um, maybe based on their attitude, but also on their difficulties that they face. So they all, almost all said that they had uh, no support from the university, uh, and a lot of support from parents, but they maybe because they feel that they are keep asking money, that they are keep so yeah. there are other factors that what why yes. I was asking the, uh, the aging. And you mentioned before your perception perception about family support or, bar or parent support here in Europe, but it's totally different in uh, Brazil, for example. Yeah. Yes, because we are carrying, this is only for the same yes. state, but we are carrying the study also in Brazil with our colleagues. So. Yeah, that, that's something completely different. Yes. Right? Our family support, uh, the, the thing that a European have in mind with family support is not the support, the typical uh, we are discovering now. <laughs> and also a lot of Latin American universities are free. So here there are family support yeah. by money, but there you, you need money there, but maybe your family don't have money. 
So the support is another. Yeah, there is another. Uh, uh, the, the, there is other question that we a difference that we have between us and Brazil. That is the they are worried or concerned about the uh, outside uh, company support because many of uh, their studies, their students, sorry, work that is not our reality here in undergraduate courses. It's not the majority uh, part of the students are working here. But in Brazil or in Latin America, it's normal that the students work and uh, yeah. uh, workers. Yes, uh, uh, work, yes. I have a particular plan in Brazil, and yes, that in America Latina, in Brazil, it's one of the places that has a big share of the students that are in the university, and the university is public and private. But in the rest of America Latina, it's impossible, and the universities public, antes, más o menos cuando yo empecé, realmente el, el valor de entrar, el valor económico era mucho menor de lo que ahora es. Entonces, hay universidades públicas y ahora ya así que se paga exactamente igual que a una privada, lo cual es absurdo, porque se pierde el sentido de lo público, no de la educación, pero entonces el acceso es cada vez menor, la visa es cada vez más grande. A mí me parece, bueno, con los obras y con las universidades de Brasil, pero me parece que hay una diferencia enorme. Hay unas partes de Brasil que tienen una idiosincrasia y una cultura muy europea, por eso existen muchos programas de becas. Pero en el resto de América Latina es absolutamente difícil entrar a la universidad pública porque te reciben dos grupos, por ejemplo, en física, donde yo soy docente, dos grupos de 30 personas, pero se presentan los mismos. ¿Qué haces con esa demanda? O hay programas de electrónica donde se presentan 20 y el grupo son de 60 estudiantes. Es una, son unas brechas increíbles y las universidades públicas parece que cada vez son, están más lejos al alcance de las personas que vienen de una universidad, de una educación pública. Porque claro, cada vez acceden más los chicos que vienen de colegios privados en donde la educación hay que decirlo de un nivel superior y entonces el, el acceso a la universidad y el, la relación económica y sociocultural va siendo como que una brecha peor en, en, en ese sentido. Ok, bueno, okay. well, uh, so, we have a last paper but the authors cannot come, finally. And they prepare a video, but I don't have the video, so... <laughs> and the video is not in the computer, so... We need to conclude. Well, that's all. Thanks for, for coming, and we, we are happy to, to see you in the next team. Uh, in next year? Yes, in this presentation.